Welcome back to our channel. She said, he said, I'm Rasha and I'm Jay. Thanks for joining us once again. Um, Jay, you want to tell them a little bit about our channel? Yeah. If you haven't been here before, we mostly cover relationship topics, but we like to have fun with it. Kind of lighthearted and, uh, make a little jokes here and there. So it's not all serious business, but we do cover everything. Um, mostly relationship topics from a man and a woman. Just, just, just give our points of view <laughs> you know but if you're coming back we appreciate you and if this is your first time please consider subscribing and welcome and welcome <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into today's topic which is is it wrong to date multiple people is it Are wrong you, to date multiple is people? it wrong to date multiple people now we're not talking about if you're married, let's make that clear from the get-go. We're saying when you're still... Well, duh. Uh, you, know, you never know. These you wouldn't be dating if you're married. Uh, some people do. Okay. <laughs> don't try to act like you don't know that. Try to stay out of people's business. <laughs> you just mind yours? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're not talking about if you're married, if that's what you do, that's not what's here. Okay. <laughs> but what we're saying is if you're still in the dating phase of life, and is it okay for you to date multiple people while you're in that dating phase? So, so you mean date people? Okay, let's get this let's, let's, hypothetically. Okay. So I'm dating you. <laughs> Why you gotta hit me? Oh, sorry. I'm dating you. <laughs> yes. But I'm also dating somebody else. You dating Sonya? Mm -hmm. Right. And then you could be dating somebody else too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. So. Okay. Now, now <laughs> this gets a little tricky for me. Apparently, because I mean, you Because if I'm dating you, and I'm dating Sonya, you said, and yeah. you're dating such and such, but John. what if Sonya mm -hmm. is dating somebody else too? What if everybody is multiple dating people, and then next thing you know, you got like 40 people? Oh, wow, that's kind of interesting, don't you think? Interesting. <laughs> Yes, I mean, you think about the dynamics of, you know, how you, how I they think say. the dynamics of the, the, uh, the what? The, 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 you just can't even figure out what dynamics. I'm trying to keep this family friendly here. Okay. Anyway, so. Y'all go ahead if you want to. That's all I'm going to say. Who? You Who you, go ahead? You would, you would this one and Sonya and Sonya with two more and they with two more and then, mm -hmm. you know, you. So you mean you're sleeping with okay. forty people? First of all, you're talking about sleeping with. This is not that. Dating doesn't have to mean sleeping. Maybe that's where your mind is in the gutter because no, you, my you mind's not the, go no, from dating to sleeping with. No. I didn't. That's not what this was about. It's not what this is about. And no, kids, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> exactly. But I'm being realistic, though. To you, these could be people, a, maybe people, for you. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, the statistics have changed, and there's a lot of people that's just dating these days. And I, they're abstinent. Yeah, I, I've and it just dated dating. multiple people, and it hasn't been about anything more okay, than so going so out and having a good from time. Experience. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely speaking. And, and have you not dated more than one person at a time? <laughs> okay. I don't think so. He's playing games right now. Anyway, let, let's let's. I don't get, remember dating more than okay. one person. Let's get back to this. So. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, speaking from my personal experience, not sleeping with, just dating. Dating, I classify as going out with this person, having a good time, doing something that you both enjoy, whether it be a movie, dinner, museum, things along that nature. A what? Uh, museum. Museum. Mm -hmm. Museum. Sir. Sir. I'm. I'm not gonna have you museum. distract me from this. You see what I have Is to put up French? with? Museum. Anyway. So in, in it, what? Sweetie, do you need to stop the camera and, focus. and regroup? Cause you, you're not here. Okay. I need you to be in the conversation. I'm here. This is what I have to put up with. So, or, you know, amusement park, things of that nature where you just, or you're going to a cookout together. That's what I classify as dating. Nothing more. Uh, do I think that it's okay to date other people, multiple people? I definitely do because one, if, if you've established the lines and said, we are not in a relationship, we are not in, um, you know, 
committed to one another and you've communicated this to people and they know that you, the expectations is I'm not going to just be going out on dates with you. I am going to go out with other people. Then you've set that, you know, those lines there. It's an understanding. If they're the type of person that that doesn't work for them, then they, they speak up and they say, no, I just can't do that. Then you don't have to date that person and they don't have to date you. They can move on to some, someone um, that is looking for more of what they're looking for. But if you're, you know, uh, with people, personal, you know, people that are on the same wavelength as you and it's okay for them to date other people, then by all means, why not? You know, you're, you're having a good time. You, you know, maybe this one person offers you conversation, you know, mental stimulation. This other person, they just offer you just fun. You know, this other person, you know, it, it could be you have common goals in life, you know, and, and, you know, your careers are headed down the same path and you enjoy each other's company. You enjoy talking about, you know, career and, and life and, and those types of things. So, I mean, you, you can get different things from different people. As long as you're being open and honest and upfront, I don't see the problem. What about you, Jay? Hmm. Why? This is where we differ. Differ. You want something today? I'm sleepy. <laughs> um, because... I don't see the point of you dating other people. If you're dating someone, this is my opinion, if you're dating someone, the point for you to be dating that person is to get to know that person, to get to know and see if you like that person or not, if you're interested in continuing to be with that person, seeing their their interests, their likes, their you know everything about them. They're learning you, you're learning them, and you're taking that time to focus on them in order to see if you're going to take that relationship further, um, you know, and classify yourselves, you know, as, as, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, or if you're, you know, nah, this is not going to work out. Um, you know, we have too many differences or whatever. So me personally, I don't see why you should be dating multiple people. That just seems to me personally, just to bring confusion, you know? So, if you if you got two, three, four, five different people you're dating and you're trying to keep up with who's what and I mean, how can you really focus and hone in on one particular person and see what they're all about when you got four or five different personalities going on? Because you don't want to hone in on one person. That's the whole point. Why wouldn't you want to? Because you're not you're not at that stage in your life. Everybody doesn't have to be at that stage. Well, why do you need to have multiple people even if you're not at that stage? I just went through because they can offer you different things. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? I just, I, I still don't get it. I mean, I. Okay. Yes. You know. I mean, you're, if you're not at the stage, why would you force yourself to be at that stage? Then you're not being fair and true to yourself. And you're not going to be fair to the person that you're honing in on because you're not trying to hone in on them. Point blank. You're not looking for a commitment on a one-on-one -on -one commitment. You're looking just to have fun. Then go out with your friends. Uh, your friends, you may not get the same thing from your friends and, and that you, you get from, you know, someone of the opposite sex that you're actually literally dating. You're like, okay, I'm talking to you more level, more than just a friendship level type of thing. So, um, I mean, your friends could be could be dating or they could be married themselves. They might not have the time to offer you that this person that you're dating does. And from my experience, like I said, I've always been open, upfront, and honest. And, you know, when I was dating multiple people in the past, well, before I got married. And I didn't. they didn't have a problem. As a matter of fact, I always got complimented for being honest, you know, and they appreciated that because there's so many people that don't disclose what they're doing. And they're doing it anyway. So you might as well just disclose it and just say, I'm not looking for this because one, you don't want to hurt another person. They're getting all their emotions tied up into you because you haven't communicated that I'm just dating around. I'm not looking to be serious with any one person. So for me, you know, um, I'm not going to say people still didn't catch feelings in the process, but they can never say it was on me because it was like, well, I told you from the very beginning. People you know, don't listen to that. They do listen to it. No, nah, because people can go into that and be like, no, nah, I feel you. I'm with that. I'm with that. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I'm cool. We could just be, you know, whatever. Like, you know, mm -hmm. that you go into that. But then once that person gets to know you, mm -hmm. 
then I mean that's the whole point of dating. They get to know you, and then they're like, "Man, I really like you. I'm feeling you." You know? Okay, but and then you're like, "Nah, nah, boy. I told you." You know, well, first of all, you don't have to be that insensitive when you're you know, saying it, but yes, I get your point. You no, know, I told you from the beginning that you know <laughs> it's not going to be like this. You know? Yes. So and then they're they, like, "Yeah, but things change." Okay, and that's they, right. Then things it changed. Change. It changed for them, but if it didn't organically change for you then you're not going to this want to commit to them. To me, yes, it can happen where you're casually dating different people and it's these two people that just happen to have this connection and they're just like, I'm done dating. You know, I just want to date you. I just want to date you. And it, it, But it organically happens. If one person is feeling it, that's a one-sided relationship. That's never going to work. So then that, that person is not for you then. And that's leading to my next point. Some of the people are going to fall to the wayside. Because they can't handle the multiple dating issues. Um, or, you know, maybe they found someone else that they were feeling more than you. And they got into a relationship with that person. It's all good. This is a slippery slope, people. <laughs> Tread carefully. If you say so. I mean, I don't really see how Disclaimer, she's from a different planet. <laughs> what planet would that be? I don't know. But we, already, we just talked about this earlier. It's like 7 billion people on the planet. You're the only one that thinks like... I'm not you know. the only one. There's, I, I'm okay. If you all have ever done a the my was the Myers Briggs, um, personality mm -hmm. Myers Briggs. Okay. Personality, <laughs> and you know they, you can be classified as an INFJ, or you can be classified as you know an ENTJ, E standing for extrovert, I standing for introvert, and then the other letters you know correspond to mean other things. Um, you can look it up. But the point is, the reason why he says that, you know, there's 7 billion people in the world, blah, 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 is because I am an INFJ. If you look it up, it's only about 1% to 2% of people in the world that have that personality, you know. Um. And she's the only one left. So anyway, I'm, I'm not the only one in the world that thinks like me. There are tons of people that do. I think as far as the mul multiple dating situations, um, do I think uniquely, more uniquely than the majority? Yes. But that's okay. But like I said, as far as multiple dating, people do it every single day. So no, I'm not the only one that thinks that. It's just some people that just, cheating. just are not as honest as me. Not at all. It's not cheating. If you do not commit to that person, it's not cheating. If you want us to do an episode on what, what the thing, the Briars Migs, Myers Briggs, Myers -Briggs. <laughs> yes. we can do one on that too. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're not going to keep you. We're not going to keep you all night. Uh, it's completely. Plain to see that Jay and I totally disagree on this topic, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm all good. You know, I'm I'm okay with that. We can we can disagree. Mm -hmm. Anything more you have to say about your slippery slope? Mm -mm. Be careful. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> yep. Is that the flashing lights? Warning. Watch out. <laughs> hey, yeah, watch knock, out, ladies. <laughs> see, we're gonna knock the signs down. You just slipped on the slope. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> anyway. Right. If y'all guys are finding value in these videos, please let us know. Consider subscribing and hit the notification so that you'll know when we release our new videos. We usually release them, what, every single day? Every you know, single day. Every day. I think we missed like one. Two days. Two days, maybe, since we've been putting out the videos. But we pretty much drop a video every single day. So, um, other than that, that's all I got. <laughs> As always, believe in love, believe in yourself, and believe in each other. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.